this is my Sony Handycam taken apart and I've taken it apart because it doesn't work properly anymore I was filming a video with it and it fell off the tripod because I lost the screw that holds it on so I had to secure it onto the tripod with sticky tape this is the tripod I used as you can see the screw is missing but since then I've managed to fabricate another one out of another screw I found and some the pull rings from a fizzy drinks can, well three fizzy drinks cans and the problem with this with the, with the handy cam is that when it fell off the tripod the tape mechanism stopped working um, you can see a closer up of it and this is constantly will not move anymore it's as if the mechanism is jammed but I don't think it is I think the logic circuit has uh, got screwed up somehow I can still use this as a normal TV camera but not a video camera now this connection here goes to the motor that loads the tape and I'm going to put a little electric current through this wire and that should make this drawer slide in so I can use this on the end of this wire I have two pins this is connected to a 3 volt power supply I've got my camera on the tripod now I just hope this one doesn't fall off here is the handy cam or should I say the handy cap anyway I'm now going to put some power into the little connector here and see if anything happens I may need to boost the voltage okay well something happened I'll just reverse the polarity and apply that voltage again and see what we get well it did move slightly but I think it's caught on the door so I'll just move that in and it doesn't seem to be moving but that's more than it moved when it was trying to close normally okay I've now increased the voltage to 4.5 which is as high as I dare go I'm now going to try it again because I think the 3 volts wasn't enough so I'm going to try with the 4.5 volts now and if it is jammed I'll just put the voltage in the other way around it's a bit difficult to do this because the pins keep coming out right, let's see if it goes in if it goes in all the way something is definitely jamming in there now I think I may have found the problem a little pin here which I'm moving with my finger that makes sure the tape is constantly tight when it's running through the machine and that should be down here right now and it's got itself stuck when it's in this when it's in where it would usually be when there is um when the tape is threaded and the and it's ready to use so that should be like that and it should be behind this roller here so I'm going to try to move that back and then apply power to the motor and see what happens and uh yeah see if that does anything well I'm still not having any luck with it but I'm going to put it back together now and see if I can um, get it to do anything 
The motor is now connected to the um, back onto the board. I've just got to connect this, which is this, and this. As you can see, there's got to connect those back. So there's a lot of connections to make. It's looking a little better now. I've got those connected up. The the only thing I'm having trouble with is the LCD connector here. No, not the LCD connector. The um, the viewfinder connector. But since I never use that anyway, I don't think it'll matter. Okay, I've got my Sony Handicap more or less put back together now. I'm now going to plug in the power. See if it's still alive. Okay, well something happened. Well, let's see if the um, camera is still working. Because I will still be able to use this to make videos in the house. Let's turn it on and see. Yep, it's still working. And for some reason it wants me to set the date. As you can probably see there. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Okay, buttons are working. Seems to be a night shot. Oh, there we go. So, the camera part of it's still working anyway. If there was some way to remove this, this would actually be... I might have been able to fix this, but then... This is riveted on, and so are the hinges. So, um, I'm a bit stuck, really. Anyway, at least it still works. I can still film with it, so... Uh, it's not too bad, I guess. Okay, well, there it is, reassembled. This is what I mean by... I won't be able to use it normally on a tripod, because, as you can see, the cassette door gets in the way. You can see underneath there's the mounting and where you mount it onto the tripod. So obviously I'm not going to be, be able to do it that way anymore. But I have a bit of a solution. Should work. Uh, I've drilled a hole, another hole here. I'm going to put the camera on that hole and see if it will um if it can be done. Well, it is working. Um, I'm using this camera right now to film me. It's connected to the computer via the USB. Um, I can't really see it because I can't use this tripod properly, but yeah. Just to prove it, here's the camera that I was using. I'm going to show you how I did this, put it on the tripod. Let's turn it on first. I'll turn out this light that's blinding me. There we go. So I'll just start this filming and go under the camera I need to put the light on on this camera now Get onto the macro shot and as you can see this is how it is connected well fitted onto the tripod unfortunately this means that I couldn't use the tripod in the right way as you can see the pan handle it's now sticking out the side, but yeah, and I've got a really bright light on this camera, so I'll just turn that out too. And there we go. Two cameras, two cameras are now filming each other. So, until next time, goodbye.